Hey girl, hey! Welcome back to my obsessive confessions. Today we are talking about my ultimate obsessions, my holy grail products. Holy grail is essentially those makeup products that no matter what, like if all your makeup was you know taken away or you lost it or stolen fire whatever the case may be if all of it was gone these are the products that you would first go get these are the products that you can't live without this is just taking it back to my core staple products that no matter what new thing came out i would still go back and repurchase this still go back and use these these are tried and true these are my ultimate favorite my ultimate obsessions so I'm so excited to do this video um, I know that this was like a tag that had went around a while back called I think Jacqueline Hill started it and it was called like the ride or die tag um, I know Holy Grail has been around way before that tag as well so call it what you want it whatever <laughs> the products are my favorites and yeah I'm so excited to get into it I figured I have to get ready for the day I need to film some other videos anyway so you probably will be seeing this makeup look and other videos in the future um, but why not actually do a full face with my holy girl product so that way you can see how I apply it how it looks on my skin and hopefully this is something that's helpful for you I love watching these videos because like I said you know with a holy grail video it's not just a normal favorites video where you're loving it for that month or because it just came out and it's fun these are products that you've probably been loving for years you will continue to use you know that they work and I love watching these videos I literally used to go and watch them and like take down notes and go and try out new products from these type of videos so I hope that this does something like that for you um, it is gonna be a long one so definitely grab a snack um, grab a drink some wine um, and settle down and let's get into it before we start um, if you are not subscribed definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can join the fam bam and also hit that notification button if you want to be notified of my videos when they post and yeah let's go ahead and get right into it um, I pretty much have everything of course like I said because I do try new products so often sometimes I'm trying to go through products before buying other ones so I may not have all of my holy grail products but i will definitely leave like pictures or annotations on the screen as well as everything will be listed in the description bar below so starting with primer i don't have the full size of the primer but i do have a sample size that i found in my box of samples and my holy grail primer is the hourglass veil mineral primer and this is the sample size that I'm going to use today. I love this primer. It makes makeup go on so smooth. Um, it does have SPF in it. I will say it does create like a white cast on your skin. Um, but, you know, of course, as soon as you put on foundation, that goes away. But it just, it mattifies my skin. It makes application or products go on so smooth. I just love this. So yeah, as you can see, it does make me look like Casper, the friendly ghost, <laughs> but I love this primer. I will continue to use it as any product in this video, so it just makes my skin so smooth. So let's go in with foundation. Now, you already know I'm a foundation hoarder. I love foundations, so I couldn't choose just one, but I'm justifying them because I'm considering them three separate foundation categories so the first category I would do is stick foundation my favorite stick foundation is the hourglass I cannot say that word hourglass vanish stick foundation I'm in the color golden almond I love this stick foundation this is my favorite um, stick foundations are great for like on the go and then I also have one for summer and one for winter. Now my favorite winter foundation is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I love this foundation. I'm in the color chestnut. Um, this 
just goes on so beautiful so smooth I use it as a winter foundation because it is kind of luminous um, and you know in the summer of course I'm already an oily person so I don't want anything on me that's going to get even oilier especially in the summer but I love this it is a gorgeous finish it my skin literally looks flawless when I use this foundation so I love it holy grail and then my summer foundation, which is the one I'm actually going to use today, is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. And I'm actually, the only thing I don't look, look about these is I have to use two colors to get my foundation color. And that is Soft Sable and Cocoa. This is actually the foundation that I wore on my wedding day. So that tells you that I love this the reason why I love this so much is it gets better with time um, it's matte it lasts all day I had to travel for my um, wedding and I wanted something that I didn't really have to touch up as much because it was um, you know a hot day and I didn't want to have to think about my makeup and this like I said throughout the day gets literally better with time and I just love it I really love it I love it with a beauty blender I just wish they would come out with more colors so L'Oreal if you're watching help your girl out I need some more colors up in this piece so I don't have to mix <laughs> so now we're gonna move on to concealer and of course I know you guys know what's coming because you have seen me use it over and over again I just really love and obsess over this concealer I'm probably gonna say the word love obsessed so many times in this video so be prepared we should turn it into a drinking game take a drink every time you hear me say those words um, but it is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm in the color deep um, I used to really love the Urban Decay concealer and I still do but this one no matter how little or how much you put it's just a gorgeous concealer it really is but I just love this stays in place all day. The color is really good. This is the look you give the gardener when he is not trying to let you be great. <laughs> I apologize in advance. You will hear him in the background. Now let's continue. And then for under eye setting powder, um, I love two. <laughs> Again, I couldn't choose, but they are different and I chose them for a reason. For loose setting powder, I love my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. This is a travel baby size one. Um, my full size, I used it all up and then this was a 100 point perk, so I think I had got like two of them. Um, so I'm just going through these before I go buy a full size one again. Um, but I love this setting powder. I love this for baking. Um, it's just beautiful. Oh, sometimes I won't bake with it, I'll just put it underneath the eyes. It's just really beautiful. Um, and then my pressed powder is the NARS Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder um, Pressed. As you can see, I've hit major pan on it. I'm eventually have to get another one, but it is just so beautiful. It really is light reflecting and it's just so smooth. It's like butter underneath the eyes. I just, I really love this pressed powder. All right, so now that we look super crazy we're gonna let that sit for the rest of my face um setting powder this was actually kind of hard but i had to really think the one that i just go back to over and over again and it was the mac mineralized skin finish in the color dark and this is actually the old packaging it's so finely milled and smooth um, I love it especially with a mattifying foundation because it is does give you that luminous glow for me personally I don't want to be super oily but I don't want to be like super Mac you know just dry face I do love a healthy luminous glow so it's a real fine line that I have to find between being matte and being not oily and I love pairing this with a uh, I love pairing it with anything but especially a matte foundation because it does um, luminize the skin 
So now we have our clean base and we're gonna go on to contour and bronzering. Now I don't contour every day, um, but when I do, my favorite contour product is Sleek, uh, I don't know if it's called Sleek Makeup or Sleek, yeah, Sleek Makeup Face Contour Kit in the color medium. I actually have this in medium and dark. Um, Sleek Makeup, it is a UK based Company. Um, now they're being sold at Ulta. I don't think this face contour kit is being sold there yet. With Ulta, they when they have a new company, they pull like most of the most popular things and then they add more and more. Um, so this isn't available on there yet, but keep your eye out on Ulta.com for it. But you can order from sleekmakeup.com. Um, it does take a little bit longer because they are shipping from the UK, but I love this um, for contouring. And then for bronzing, you guys all know, I talk about it all the time. My favorite bronzer is the Shea Moisture Illuminating Dust, Illuminating Powder in Mandalay Dusk, and this is what it looks like. Now the story behind this, which I'm sure I said it before in a previous video, is this is out of stock, nowhere to be found anywhere. It is still on the Shea Moisture website, and they I've seen on like social media when people ask about it, they say that it's gonna come back, so let's cross our fingers that it does. But I love this bronzer. It is so beautiful, and it's very hard to find bronzers for women of color. So I really do hope that they bring this back. If you guys have any recommendations for bronzers out there, definitely let me know. I'm always on the look for a good bronzer. I used to really like the um, CoverGirl Queen bronzer, which is also hard to find. Why is it that bronzers for women of color are so hard to find? Like, just because we're darker skin doesn't mean we don't want a bronze. Doesn't mean we don't want to look like a bronze goddess, you know? <laughs> um, but I used to love that bronzer a lot as well. <clears throat> Um, but it's really red. Once I found this and I realized how red the other one was, this just took the cake for me. And that's the problem with a lot of companies is they automatically think of red when they think of darker skin. And we don't want to be red. Not all of us have red undertones. So the next thing is blush. And this was so easy for me. I love blush. I have so many blushes. I, it's so funny. I find myself even purchasing things that are very similar to it. And I didn't even realize it. It's just what I gravitate towards. And that is the MAC blush in the color Raisin. I love this blush. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous blush. Um, it's like a brownie like reddish color I don't even know <laughs> how to explain it but it is just the most beautiful blush ever I love max blushes in general they have such a good selection of blushes and they're so smooth I definitely love them the thing with raisin is it can also kind of be like that bronzer blush like if you ever don't feel like putting on bronzer you can't find a bronzer this is good for that as well. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. I don't know how I did this. I almost forgot about eyeshadows and um, that's crazy that I almost forgot about that. <laughs> um, so one of the categories in the Holy Grail or Ride or Die tag is eyeshadow palette. And to be honest, I don't have, I went through all my eyeshadow palettes and there's some that I really love, but there isn't one that I would just run out and get. My favorite eyeshadow palette is the one that I made for myself. And this is my Holy Grail eyeshadow palette. It's actually double-sided. Um, this is eyeshadow singles that I put together myself over the years. Um, and I just, I'm constantly rotating out things that I find that are now my new favorites. But right now this is, I would go out and buy every single one of these that's in this palette because they are my holy grail. Um, most of these are, I think I have Makeup Geek on this side. This is Makeup Geek, I believe. Let me see, it is double-sided. Yeah, so these are Makeup Geek on this side. And then on this side is Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just 
love these i will have to probably do like a dedicated video on this palette here so i can go through each one with you and let you know like the colors and um, give you swatches and stuff like that so if that is something that you would want to see definitely leave a comment in the comment section letting me know um so i'm gonna go ahead and just use a few of my favorite colors i will list the colors that i use um in the description bar below of course my favorite eyeshadow primer is definitely the mac prep and prime 24 hour extend eye base primer i love this primer um, it's probably the only thing i found that keeps my eyeshadows on all day so i used to really like the nars one but this one is you get a lot more product in this one and it does just as good if not better of a job than that one and you only need like the tiniest tiniest amount of this shadows I do have one eyeshadow that I would go out and purchase right away and that is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the color Amaze as long as I have this and the majority of the rest are mattes that's all I need in my life like seriously this color I don't know if you could see is so gorgeous let me do a swatch for you this is what it looks like on the back of my hat. I will definitely try to do some close-ups. This is just gorgeous. I love applying this with my finger. There's just nothing like it. Like, look at that. Look at that, you guys. This color is just so pretty. I love ColourPop Super Shock Saddles in general, but nothing is like this color when i die i want to be buried with this color and the best thing about these shadows is there's like literally no fallout like they're just so beautiful and they have no fallout they're just there's nothing like them this shadow in particular i mean there's a lot that i like from them but oh my gosh i love this shadow so the next step would be eyeliner my ultimate favorite eyeliner is the Inglot Eyeliner Gel in number 77 Jet Black. This is just the best eyeliner gel ever. It glides on so smooth. It's the blackest, blackest of the blackest eye gel liner that I ever found. Um, and I do feel like this is very important, you know, as far as the product, but the application of the brush you use is also very important. And my favorite brush to apply winged liner is the Sigma Small Angled E65 brush. Um, I'm not naming a lot of brushes in this video, even though I do have favorites and holy grails. Maybe I'll do a separate video on that. Um, but I feel like this goes hand in hand with this for me which is why I'm mentioning it this is my favorite liner um, it's just easiest for me to apply it with this it's very thin and not too long so it's easy to control I am going to do my eyeliner off camera because I do need to get really really close to the mirror so I will be right back okay so my eyeliner is on and I also did do my brows off camera just because I actually don't have the eyebrow my holy girl eyebrow pencil with me um, I actually ran out of that um, on a <laughs> previous video you guys actually saw that like live I ran out of that so that is the L'Oreal eyebrow definer or precise definer I think is what it's called again and everything will be linked down below as well as I will put some type of uh, picture and annotation on the screen that is my favorite um, it used to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills and I still love love that product but I just find that the L'Oreal eyebrow pencil pretty much does the exact same thing and it's cheaper so I definitely will run out and buy that before I would buy the Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil 
which is why that is my holy grail. Um, I didn't do my eyebrow gel because I didn't want to show you that and that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow gel. This one I've tried many eyebrow gels like even at the drugstore because I do try to shop at the drugstore more than I do higher end just because especially when it comes to like eyebrow products and mascaras because those are things that we go through pretty often and who wants to go out and have to buy a $20-$30 eyebrow pencil and um, mascara when we can find something at the drugstore but unfortunately when it comes to eyebrow gel I have found nothing better than the Anastasia one so that is what is my holy grail and I'm just gonna finish off my eyebrow now I'm gonna go on to mascara and I know you guys thought it was going to be the L'Oreal new lash paradise but actually it's not <laughs> my favorite where is it my favorite mascara is actually the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I, oh my god, I love this mascara. This mascara I can use top, bottom, it's perfect as soon as it comes out of the tube like I don't have to wait for it to get dry and get better it's just it's a beautiful beautiful mascara it makes my lashes elongated but still kind of full I just love this mascara and this is a fresh bottle I actually just bought this because I knew I wanted to do this video and you'll notice I didn't even curl my lashes which actually was a <laughs> an accident but I don't even need to with this mascara it if you can see on the wand it's already like curved hope you can see that and so like it's perfect to lift those lashes and it coats them so well it makes them so black I just love this mascara and no matter how many mascaras I go through I always go back to this one so I definitely recommend you going out and getting this I mean, you can go out and get anything with this video, I would recommend it, but this of all things. <sighs> like, I totally forgot how much I love this. Like I said, I've been trying out new mascaras um, and I didn't have this for a while, but the minute I thought about doing this video, the first thing I thought about was this mascara. And that's how you know this is real. This is, this is real love here. <laughs> it's the best mascara ever, totally. Jump, go out and get this, people. Go out and get it. Next, we're gonna go on to highlighter. Now, this was so hard for me, so hard, because I love highlighter as well, and I love a lot of highlighters, but I finally was able to narrow it down. <laughs> I love this because it's the perfect color, it goes on not chunky, not glittery, but smooth, and it is the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in the color Gilded Honey. And just look at that, look at that you guys. It is just beautiful. This is definitely my holy girl. I would go out and buy this immediately. I just love the way this looks on the skin. It is just beautiful. Let me go ahead and apply this. And it just applies so smoothly, but gives that beautiful sheen on the face. It's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful pattern. And I'm gonna put some in my inner corner. <laughs> I'm gonna use a highlight, I mean, a Q-tip, just cause I don't feel like looking for anything else. <laughs> don't judge me. So now I'm gonna go on to setting spray or facial spray, and I have two I had to mention because they are two different things that they do. My first one I'm going to mention is the facial spray, and this is the Mario Badescu skincare facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. I love this. I have like three of these, like throughout my house. <laughs> um, I just love this one. I have a couple of the uh, travel size ones, and this is a full size. Um, it's just a, such a beautiful product. Now this will not prolong the wear of your foundation. I use this right after um, I finish doing my makeup to kind of take away the powderiness of the look of your makeup. I just love this 
setting spray. I use this before I put on moisturizer as part of like my skincare regimen. Um, I put it on just throughout the day, like say I'm hot. I keep one of these in the refrigerator especially in the summer months because like I said if it's hot you just want to spray this on your face and it just it totally can change my mood with this spray. I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with this one. Another thing is that mist. Can you see that mist? It's like that's a big thing for facial sprays with me is the mist is very important. If it sprays out like spitting at you and you can get like those drops on your face it's not a good sprayer, I'm telling you. I don't care how good the product is. If the nozzle sucks, then you're out of luck. And then the facial last uh, setting spray is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And this is a travel size one. I do also have a full size that I haven't opened yet. This, on the other hand, will make your makeup last all day as it says all nighter like this definitely locks in your makeup I love this for like if I'm going out or I know I'm gonna be out all day like again I use this on my wedding day because it was a very long day and I didn't have any issues so I just I love this spray I know that the packaging is different now so when I do like put like a picture I will show you the new packaging of this but I love this spray and as you can see I douse myself in setting spray <laughs> in general and then lastly we're gonna move on to lips and we are pretty much done with this video so for lips of course I have a couple different categories for this one as well um, so the first thing I wanted to do was lip liner and it was really hard for me to choose between the two so I didn't I didn't choose I went ahead and I'm telling you both of my favorites and this is the ColourPop BFF 3 lip liner and MAC chestnut now if you are a brown girl a, a woman of color like myself these two lip liners are a must-have in your life you don't have to have both I do recommend having both because they are a little different to me but you have to at least have one of these I'm going to use this one today which is the BFF 3 and it's ColourPop so it's super cheap and it's just a perfect brown color I can't really talk and do this and I definitely need to get more backups of these. I think I have like two and I need more just in case because ColourPop is good at discontinuing things for sure. Like uh, my first favorite, which I had to mention, is the ColourPop liquid lipstick in the color Chili Chili, which when doing research with this video, I actually found out this is discontinued. So that really pisses me off. I'm trying to find dupes for it. I haven't found any yet but I did want to mention and just in case maybe you already have it in your collection go ahead and bring that sucker out it's beautiful or if you find any dupes in the comment section below um, definitely let me know if you find any dupes I had to mention that because this is truly a holy girl product I'm just so sad that I can't go and repurchase it and I didn't even buy backups so I'm really I really didn't had no clue that they discontinued this um, I did want to mention my favorite uh, other lip color and that is Mac in Del Rio Del Rio is just such a beautiful color um, it's just it's really like a fall appropriate color but I use this like whenever this is what it looks like I love this color for like you know whatever <laughs> don't really have a favorite color out of these but I had to mention this because it's my favorite formula of lipsticks and that is the NARS um, Audacious Lipsticks. And this is what they look like. This one is in the color Mona. Um, and like I said, I, I don't really have like a specific favorite. This is a really gorgeous color. That's Mona right there. Um, but any of these, if you find a color for yourself, I had to mention them because this is my favorite formula of lipstick. It's so opaque, so creamy, um, but it does last a long time. I just, I love these. The packaging is sleek and it's magnetic. I don't know if you can see that. It's just beautiful. So I had to mention that to just go out and find a color that works for you. And what I'm gonna wear today 
is my favorite like pinky nude color um, and that is the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in the color Chihuahua line this melted lipstick line is it's whatever but this color is so beautiful i really love this color and that is what that looks like isn't it just ugh. i truly love this color and then lastly we're gonna go on to lips uh lip gloss and we are done with this video my favorite lip gloss line is the anastasia beverly hills lip glosses this is a, a sample size one um i love these the they are very opaque so let me show you what i mean so that's just one swipe as you can see it's so opaque and like thick it just but they have the most beautiful colors they last a long time um they are kind of sticky but not too sticky but they are sticky enough to make them last a good long time and they have the most beautiful color range i just love these but for people who want like that traditional lip gloss the one that's not opaque but very glossy my favorite is the buxom lip glosses and this is in the color dolly but um any of these are really good it's so rare that i actually go through a full lip gloss or lip product in general because i have so many and when i was like literally going back and back and finishing them i realized this is this is true love here as well so i love these um, i'm actually going to add some of this on my lip today why not and these do are supposed to have like plumping yeah this is the full-on lip cream that sorry i wanted to make sure to mention that because they do have like full-on lip polishes i think my favorite is the full-on lip cream and they just have like the best texture and as you can see it just looks healthy and beautiful and like makes your lips really plump as the name suggests so that is my favorite lip glosses um that is it so we made it through this video if you made it you are the real mvp clap for you <laughs> for sitting through this video i do hope that you guys enjoyed this video if there's any categories of favorites that i didn't mention that you would like to know what my holy grail is for that definitely leave me a comment in the uh, comment section below um some i kind of steer clear of because i really just don't have a, a holy grail i'm still trying to find that one or if you have any recommendations for me definitely leave that below because like i said i love trying new things and who knows next year this could change um, maybe i'll do like an update in another year or so because we're always finding new things and you never know but as of right now 2017 these are my holy grail, holy grail products and uh, yeah i just love them so i do hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and until next time guys Bye.